WTOC is following up on that breaking news in Bryan County where state investigators say an improvised bomb caused that explosion at a home just outside of Richmond Hill. Thanks for joining us for the News at 5. I'm Dawn Baker. And I'm Mike Seelan. This update is coming from the Georgia Insurance and Safety Fire Commissioner. Our Camille Syed is live out where that house explosion happened where it blew the bricks off the garage less than a month ago. Our Camille State investigators arrested two men in this case. That's right, Caleb Kinsey and Stephen Glosser are in police custody. Now, investigators believe they used a homemade bomb, which they are calling, they're saying it was made up of a binary explosive compound. Now, it caused all the damage to the home here behind me. You can see now most of that damage is to the garage area like Mike mentioned. Now, Kinsey is charged with possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. He actually left the state and was arrested in Louisiana. Glosser was arrested locally and is accused of transporting and receiving explosives. The explosion happened in the early hours of January 13th. The blast brought out lots of state and local agencies, along with the U.S. Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives. That same day, several residents and the new homeowner told WTOC they believe the explosion that woke them up was a bomb. I sat down with homeowner Larissa Apperson just days after the incident. She said it was actually her and her daughter's first night in the home when this happened. She told me she felt someone did this maliciously. If it wasn't something that could have been done by Mother Nature, how could a human being possibly be responsible for this? I don't have the answers for that. But that's the only conclusion I can come up with. You think somebody was responsible for doing this? Had to have been. The ATF, the State Fire Marshal's Office, and the Georgia Bureau of Investigation have been working on this case from the start and all pitched in to make the arrest happen. Now, investigators do not believe this was a random attack. We're working on getting more information for you for the news at 6. Reporting live in Bryan County, Camille Syed, WTOC News.